An electro-diesel locomotive also referred to as a dual-mode or bi-mode locomotive is powered either from an electricity supply like an electric locomotive or by using the onboard diesel engine like a diesel-electric locomotive. For the most part, these locomotives are built to serve regional, niche markets with a very specific purpose. Topic. Overview Electro-diesel locomotives and electro-diesel multiple units are used to provide continuous journeys along routes that are only partly electrified without a change of locomotive, extensive running of diesel under the wires using a diesel locomotive where electrified lines are available or where diesel engines are banned. They may be designed or adapted mainly for electric use, mainly for diesel use or to work well as either electric or diesel. Topic. Primarily electric This is effectively an electric locomotive with a relatively small auxiliary diesel prime mover intended only for low speed or short distance operation e.g. British Rail Class 73. Some of these, such as the British Rail Class 74, were converted from electric locomotives. The southern region of British Railways used these locomotives to cross non-electrified gaps and to haul boat trains that used tramways at the ports of Southampton and Weymouth. For economy, the diesel engine and its generator are considerably smaller than the electric capacity. The southern types were of 1,600 horsepower or Type 3 rating as electrics, but only 600 horsepower as diesels. Later classes had as much as 2,500 horsepower on electric power, but still the same diesel engines. Despite this large difference, their comparable tractive efforts were much closer around three-quarters as diesels and so they could start and work equally heavy trains as diesels, but not to the same speeds. Topic. Primarily diesel This is effectively a diesel locomotive with auxiliary electric motors or connections to the existing traction motors, usually operating from 750 volts DC third rail where non-electric traction is banned e.g. EMDFL9, GE Genesis P32ACDM, EMDDM30AC. The primary function for these models is to provide a one-seat ride. A rail trip that doesn't require a transfer to a different train between the electrified and non-electrified sections of a rail system or to allow trains to run through tunnels or other segments of track where diesel locomotives are generally prohibited due to their production of exhaust. Such locomotives are used for certain trains servicing the New York City terminals of Grand Central Terminal and Penn Station, as the various rail tunnels into Manhattan have exhaust restrictions. Once out of the tunnels, the engines are started and operation is as a normal diesel locomotive. Topic. Full dual mode With modern electronics, it is much easier to construct or adapt an electro-diesel locomotive or multiple unit which is equally at home running at high speeds both under the wires and under diesel power e.g. SNCF Class B82500, Bombardier ALP45DP. These will normally operate under pure electric traction where possible, and use the diesel engines to extend the journeys along non-electrified sections which would not be cost-effective to electrify. They may also be used on long cross-country routes to take advantage of shorter sections of electrified main lines. Topic. Europe Topic. France Bombardier has built dual-mode variants of its AGC series for the French operator SNCF. The electricity is collected by means of a pantograph. B81500 multiple unit trains using 1.5 kV DC catenary, in service since 2005 
B-80 2500 multiple unit trains using both 1. 5 kV DC and 25 kV AC catenary, currently still being built. Topic. Germany Gemeinder class 478.6 diesel and 750 volts DC third rail bottom contact. Voith Futura, a concept locomotive rebuilt from DB 240002. Bombardier TRAXX, last mile diesel, mainly electric. Orders signed 2010, to be delivered probably 2012. Topic. Italy Five electro-diesel versions of the Stadler Flirt have been ordered for service in the Valle d'Aosta region. Topic. Poland PESA 111 Ed Gama Marathon, mainly electric, with auxiliary diesel engine enabling last mile operation on non electrified tracks. Gama Marathon was first presented in 2012 at Inno Trans Berlin. The locomotive then underwent a series of tests with rail operators Lotto's College in goods traffic and PKP Intercity in passenger traffic. After successful conclusion, it was offered on the market. In July 2015 the Polish train operating company Lokomotiv bought the prototype and signed order for further two marathons. Nawag Dragon – version of this electric freight locomotive for the Freightliner's Polish branch, Freightliner Place SP, Z00, five units delivered in 2016 is equipped with auxiliary diesel engine. Nawag Griffin, a version of this electric freight locomotive, leased to Lotto's College in 2017 for seven years with a provision to extend the lease, is equipped with auxiliary diesel engine. Topic. Russia In Russia, a number of electro-diesels were built which had both pantographs and diesel prime movers. These locomotives were actually multiple units, with distinct electric, diesel, and motor sections. These included ED-16 ED-18 and TEU-1 narrow gauge models OPE-1 OPE-2 OPE-2 NP-1 NP-1 PE-2 M Ray-2 M and EL-20 standard gauge locomotives used mostly in quarries DT-1 DT-1 standard gauge multiple unit Topic Spain FIV 1.900 series, 1,500 volts DC overhead wires. This series is a rebuild of FIV 1.000 series locomotive. CAF Bitrack 3600, 3,000 volts DC overhead wires. October 2007 order for nine freight co co locomotives. Available in Bobo and Coco wheel configuration, 1,435 or 1,668 mm 56.5 or 65.7 in gauge, and as freight or passenger versions of 120 and 180 km per hour 75 and 112 miles per hour maximum speeds respectively. Topic. Switzerland Ration Railway Gem 4 4,800 firsts and 802, 1,000 volts DC overhead wires, Bernina Railway Swiss Federal Railways Tem I-2 51-275 1950-57, 276 Tem 2-276-298 1967 and Tem 3 321 365 1954 62 shunters Tem 3 see image of which only few are still in service. 
Swiss Federal Railways EEM 923 shunters using both 15 kV 16.7 Hz and 25 kV 50 Hz overhead wires and a 360 kW auxiliary diesel engine are on delivery from Stadler Rail's Winterthur plant. United Kingdom An experimental electro-diesel locomotive, DEL 120, was built by London Underground in 1940 but was not a success. Two types have been built whose electricity source was a 750 volts DC third rail. British Rail Class 73, dating from 1962 the more successful design, with some still in regular use. They originally had lower power output in the diesel mode, but are being re-engined to provide more power 2014, 50 years since introduction. British Rail Class 74 rebuilt from British Rail Class 71 electric locomotives in 1967 and withdrawn by 1977, electro-diesel locomotives and multiple units whose electricity source is 25 kV 50 Hz AC overhead line include British Rail Class 88 locomotive used by Direct Rail Services. Introduced in 2017. British Rail Class 755 multiple unit for use on Greater Anglia Regional Services. Introduction from 2019. British Rail Class 769 multiple unit converted from Class 319, for use on Great Western Railway, Northern and Transport for Wales Regional Services. Introduction from 2019 British Rail Class 800 high-speed multiple unit for use on Great Western Railway and London North Eastern Railway Intercity Services. Introduction from October 2017 British Rail Class 802 high-speed multiple unit for use on Great Western Railway, Hull Trains and Transpennine Express Intercity Services. Introduction from December 2018. In 2010, Bombardier had plans, apparently known as Operation Thor or Project Thor, to convert 500 existing diesel multiple units (DMUs) into electro-diesel multiple units (EDMUs). Whilst exact details are unclear, one source specified that these would involve their Voyager family Demus, and entail the construction of additional intermediate cars with a pantograph and a transformer which would feed power into the traction motors of the existing diesel-electric cars when running off overhead lines. Topic. North America Topic. Canada Bombardier ALP 45DP20 locomotives are on order for the Mascouche Line AMT. It is a joint order with the New Jersey Transit order above. They will provide a through journey on this mostly unelectrified new line, which joins an existing electrified commuter line to access Montreal's central station through the poorly ventilated, 25 kV AC electric-only Mount Royal Tunnel. <laughs> United States Several, primarily diesel locomotive types and a multiple unit have been built to operate off a 750 volts DC third rail into the New York City terminals of Grand Central Terminal and Penn Station. The following are in service. P32 ACDM, dual mode version of the GE Genesis, electric mode is only used for a few miles of travel. EMD DM30 AC, specific to the Long Island Rail Road, the electric mode is only used for service to Penn Station. Bombardier ALP45 DP35 locomotives were purchased by NJ Transit, to bridge gaps between non-electrified and electrified sections of track into New York Penn Station. These trains have been used to provide a one-seat ride to New York Penn Station both for commuters using non-electrified portions of the system, the following were retired from New York City service. Baldwin RP210 primarily diesel hydraulic, third rail electric mode for short-term use only. 
Roger Williams. Streamlined, six-car, lightweight, DMU passenger train, built by the Budd Company in 1956 for the New York, New Haven and Hartford Railroad, primarily diesel-hydraulic, third-rail electric mode for short-term use only. Fairbanks Morse P1242 primarily diesel-electric, third-rail electric mode for short-term use only. EMD FL9 primarily diesel electric, third rail electric mode for short term use only. GE3 Power Box Cab, tri mode switcher locomotive model built in 1930, was also capable of operating as a battery locomotive, all retired and scrapped. GE Garrett gas turbine MUs, primarily electric, but built with gas turbines to allow operation outside of third rail electrification. All scrapped. Topic Africa. Topic South Africa. The South African Class 38000 is a 3 kV DC electro-diesel locomotive designed by consortium under the leadership of Siemens and built by Union Carriage and Wagon in Nigel, Gauteng, South Africa. Between November 1992 and 1993 50 of these locomotives were placed in service by Spornet, formerly the South African Railways and later renamed Transnet Freight Rail the diesel engine enables the locomotive to shunt on unelectrified sidings. Topic: Hybrid locomotive. A specialized type of electro-diesel locomotive is the hybrid locomotive. Here, the electricity comes from a battery charged by the diesel engine rather than from an external supply. An example is the Green Goat Switcher GG20B by Railpower Technologies, a subsidiary of RJ. Corman Railroad Group since 2009. See also Biodiesel Dual Mode Bus GE 3 Power Box Cab Hitachi Super Express, a future train for the United Kingdom.